trail du duty extended jaunts bushings for the Hummer H3. So on the right you see the stock one, on the left you see the trail duty. So what I'm doing here, trying to recreate what you could do at home. I could do this in the garage with jacks and stuff, but not everybody has garage. So you may have a wall or a stone or a hillside or something. You need to get your vehicle so that you drop the tire that you want to work on. So I want to work on that driver's side front. So you see that's dropped. And how I accomplish that here, I just put it in four-wheel drive, low range. I pop that front tire up on that stone right there. And that loaded that front tire and unloaded this one. Which should give me enough room to get up there. I got a little bit of tools here. So what I'm going to do is I'll show you that you can put a screwdriver into the stock one. There's a hole in the center. You come up in and you pry out and back. There's your John's bushing. You see it right up in there. You can see where it contacts the A-arm right there. So what you do is you take your handy dandy screwdriver, put it up into that hole. Right there. Okay, get it up in there. Try to spray it with some lube if you want. And there she goes. She's out. So now you can see the pocket. So there's our pocket. And you see the where they have the metal pushed in. You see they hit it from outside, pushing that metal in, and that's what holds the bushing in place. So you're gonna take your aftermarket bushing here and grab it. Get it started on the side away from you. So I got it up into those two. And then we have, we're not into this one. We're not into this one. Where's my box? I'm gonna try somehow to set my phone up. So maybe you can see this. Gonna be tough. Wish I had another person here, but I don't. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a pry bar. Basically, I'm gonna push in and up. So I'm gonna take the pry bar right here. Now, some people will lubricate this. You can. You can get some WD-40 or similar. And basically, you need to push this edge in and up, which is real hard to do single-handed. Let's see if I can get enough power on it. There we go, I got the one. And then you have one more here. Ugh, not enough strength. I can't get it by myself. Or well, with one hand. I'm going to set the camera down for just a second. Okay, I'm going to pause. So there you can see, I'm almost all the way in. It's a little bit crooked, so I'm gonna take my pry bar. And I'll put it underneath here. And just work it up. When you drive also, it'll pop it up in the rest of the way. Everything's hard when you're working one-handed. There we 
ran all the way. So we're in with this one, and we got the other one done already. So we're good. So now I'll back it down and set it on the level and see what we got. All right, so I got it backed out approximately level. My driveway's not exactly level, but this has the, uh, I believe it's the Rough Country two inch shackle in the back. So there's your extended shackle. Gives you a little bit of additional lift in the rear. Then you have the stock torsion bars cranked to give us 23 and three quarter inches. And how you get that dimension is you measure from the center of the H in your wheel, that cross line right there, from there to this bottom roll, this bottom edge right where my fingernail is touching, 24 is considered absolute max. 23 and a half is pretty perfect. I'm like 23 and three quarters. So I'm about as high as I want to be. I don't want to have excessive wear. And here, here you see the trail duty John's bushing sitting level. Let's see if I can get a good view. We're just about touching. Come on, baby, focus. Just about touching. Go ahead and look at the other side while we're under here. Same thing you can see, we're just about touching there. Before we had a big gap, now we don't. So now there will be very little dive while we're under braking. These will make contact and support the front end. They're actually a load-bearing part of the suspension on an H3. They're not just a, on a typical vehicle, you have a large gap between the suspension and the, and the bump stop, if you will. And you're supposed to stroke through your suspension. When you make contact with the bump stop, it's supposed to pretty much limit or end the suspension travel. On the H3, it's not quite like that. The Johns bushing is a part of the system that compresses with the suspension. So this puts us back to near stock clearances to re restore the ride to what it once was.